hi guys welcome back to my channel so today i'm going to be unboxing and reviewing the hair extensions from this company dore really excited to try these because if you followed me for a while you know i'm a hair extension lover and i don't normally stray from the big brand that i normally use so this is going to be so interesting for me one of the first ones that i have ever done even though i get asked a lot to do them i love the look of this company and agreed to do it so let's get straight into today's video Okay, so hi guys if you're new here welcome and my name is Juliet. I do new videos on this channel every week I do lots of beauty fashion lifestyle you name it I do it I love to review products and I am a massive massive fan of hair extensions if you have followed me for a while you will know that this is not my normal hair I normally have hair extensions in this is actually my natural hair which is very thin and fine and I took out my tape extensions last week on purpose to be able to review this company so let's get straight into it okay so first things first let me just tell you a little bit about my hair because I gained a lot of followers through doing videos such as this one where I'd got thin and fine hair showing how I style it, how I put extensions in my hair and I've had so many people ask me questions about hair extensions. Now I personally love to wear tape hair extensions and in the interim I will wear seamless clippings and the reason being is because my hair is like this, you will hear me say thin and fine about 50,000 times, it's in really good condition to be fair, It's I'm really lucky in that respect but it, there is just not a lot of it and it was just I was just born that way but I can't wear normal clippings in my hair and I have tried every single type of hair extensions out there but I found that tapes tend to be the best for my hair type anyway don't want to rumble too much but one of the big brands that I normally use that I won't name if you follow me you will know who they are they're very very expensive and I love their hair I really do but it is just so expensive when I do get a new set of tapes or any extensions I'm looking at like 400 pounds to get some brand new ones so anyway I thought I would start by sharing this company with you now if I was to review every single hair extension company that offered to send me hair it would just be a hair channel. I must get at least one a day from a company, but this company really stood out to me. And this company is called Dores. And just, can we just take a moment for the packaging that it arrived in? This is so beautiful in like a beautiful sky blue with the gold label on the front. I am loving that. Let me show you what I've gone for. So as you open it up, this is what it comes like. So this is your tester piece, which is brilliant by the way, because you can then color match with this. You can actually clip, this has got clips in, so you can clip it into your hair, see if it's the right shade, see if you like the length. Um, and then this is the main compartment with the hair extensions in. It comes fully sealed. So as soon as you open these tabs, it voids the package. So please make sure that if you do want to try them first, you only use this bit in here and then see if it's it's work going to work for you so one of the things that drew me let me let me tell you let me talk you through what drew me to this company compared to other people so the first thing is the fact that they offer tapes and seamless clippings which are both types of extensions that I use I like to use both types from one company so I know what shade I'm getting I know the quality of the hair is there and I just feel more comfortable doing that the other reason was the colours that they had were a little bit more varied than a lot of people. So generally when it comes to a lot of companies, they will do one standard bright blonde, which is a 613, which is really quite yellowy and even though you can tone it it's not very multi-tonal and it doesn't always blend in my hair especially now i've had like a brown put or like a bronze put through it which has faded loads by the way can we just add how blonde is my hair looking today but yeah i went for the shade 17a slash 60a and it was obviously then two colours, so it's a bit multi-tonal. And I went for the 18 inch. Now, I only normally have a 14 or a 16 inch hair when I have my tapings. But for the clippings, I thought I would try a bit of a longer style just to see what they look like. So, the first thing you do is you grab your little tester section out. And it comes in a nice little hair net. But this is the hair. So, what I check for, right, okay? 
it feels really silky it feels really nice um it's thick to the ends that's one thing i always look for and see how the strands are looking at the bottom because you want them to be double drawn you want the bottoms to be see how that's thick just like the top because a lot of extensions you will get they will start to go really kind of like scraggy at the ends does that make sense so the fact that these are thick and the same thickness from root to tip is a big bonus they feel really nice and silky you don't want them to be too silky though because you don't want them to be like synthetically looking these are 100 percent natural human hair so you can curl them you can dye them you can do whatever you like with them the next thing i wanted to check was the actual weft now this is so thin guys this is this is thinner than any other hair extensions i've ever used that is really incredibly thin i don't know if you can see on here how thin that is so what i actually did was i got i have got some other seamless extensions here that i used to use um and i've got them here to compare so these are another brand this was quite this is an expensive brand okay really expensive um i just got it here to show you so that one is a lot more rigid a lot thicker to feel and then that one is like look at, you can see the rigid rigidity by how that is flopping there with the clips to so see how rigid that is compared to that one that's how much thinner it is the clips themselves a really good quality so these are the dores clips they've got this like quite long claw comb bit on there which is really good compared to these are the ones i've got these are just standard clips can you see the difference there yeah so that's another big positive i really like that i love this color see how these ones what i say these are a 613 from another brand can you see how what i mean when i say they're very like yellowy these ones have got more like of a natural ashy tone to them i love that color it's really beautiful i think we're going to have a winner here so what you want to do is once you've checked it kind of now i've kind of give it a look over i can't i just can't get over how thin they are but they've still got the silicone which is to stop it like sliding in your hair but that is crazy that is some of the best seamlesses seamless extensions i think i've ever seen they've also got little silicone bits in the comb as well to stop the damage of your hair okay so this obviously isn't going to fit here but i'm just going to quickly test it so i will just scrape back some of my hair here like I say, it, this isn't a final placement. This is just to check the colour. So I'm just going to pop that in there, like so. And then you just want to drop your hair over it and see the blend. Now, to me, that is spot on. That is spot on to my colour. Like you can't see where my hair ends and where the hair extensions start. Can you? No. That is a beautiful blend. Perfect colour. Really happy with that. Really, really happy with that. Right, okay. Oh, I'm excited now. I'm really excited. I get, can you tell I love hair extensions? I could talk forever about hair extensions. I really suffer with my self-confidence with my hair. It's always been thin and fine, but as I've got older and as I've had children, it is just worse. I thought it was the bleach. I held off on the bleach, but that didn't help. Like, literally, it is just my type of hair. Obviously, I'm very lucky to have hair. You know, the, there are worse situations. There are people who suffer out there with alopecia and things like that, but when you've got really thin hair it can be a little like there's not really a lot you can do with it so hair extensions are my go-to enough rambling let's get in to here so they've kindly sent me inside so this is what I've, I've got inside now so i've just opened that up they have sent me these are the clippings there is a lot of hair there wow okay let me read how many pieces are in there on the website so this section so there's 140 grams in the 18 inches and you get you get 10 pieces in the 18 inch you get one 8 inch weft 
one seven inch weft and um, you get two six inch two four inch and four one inch wefts which is really really good so anything so they go from a 16 inch and in the 16 inch you get nine pieces but in the 18 inch you get 10 wow so there's, there's 10 pieces in there there is a lot of hair there i don't know whether i'll get it all in i might put it all in for the video but i don't know whether it would even take it to be honest and um, you also get in here some really cute separation clips so these are really good for pinning the rest of your hair out the way um, and just like sectioning off hair so you get two of those in there and they're really strong actually you also get a little hair extension card on oh well, this is good so it's a care card it tells you how to apply them and the care instructions for the actual hair extensions themselves so you get a little care card in there as well okay so you get a little this is please read me first so i'm guessing this is going to this comes in with a little sample which is just telling you to not cut wash style or dye this piece until you decide to keep them okay so yeah that need to be returned as 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 is and then you also get two spare clips in there which is always a bonus i've never had to use those but you never know they have also kindly sent me which i won't be doing in this video but i'm because they need to send me another pack because i've only got one pack and i can't do my tapes with just one pack i need two but they've also sent me the same color in the tape extensions so these are the extensions that i usually wear um like on a day-to-day -day basis and these are what tape extensions look like they're exactly what it says on the tin they are a hair extension with a piece of tape on the top and you have two pieces sandwiched between a piece of hair and that is a tape extension so now i know that i love the color i will ask them if they could send me out another pack of these and i will do a tape extension video for you if you want to see that as well the tape extensions are so reasonably priced when i saw the price of these on the website i nearly fell off my chair um and again they feel really nice and good quality let me just check they're thick to the ends as well yeah look at that that is good quality hair that is that is really good quality hair they are thick to, there's no straggly bits at the bottom it feels really nice and shiny but not too shiny um lovely color again yeah i'll be asking for another pack of those and then let me know whether you want me to do a tape extension video and i will do that as well for you really really excited to try those as well but let's start with the clippings it has been a long time since i've wore 18 inch hair but look at that guys <gasps> oh so it, that color is absolutely stunning i've never seen a blonde color like that from like another company okay right so let's just get these out then and get them in my hair stop rambling julia you've been going for 15 minutes here okay so i'm going to turn around and i'm going to hope that you're going to be able to see it from there i'm going to actually place them a little bit different to how i would do them i'm going to follow the guideline in here because it's actually a really nice layout so i'm going to follow it and see how i get on so it says to start off with a three clip weft on the bottom so i'm going to grab my trusty clip when I start my extensions, I do them about an inch up from my the nape of my neck, like so. Um, because I like to start as low as possible with having such thin hair. Next up is a four piece. Okay, I'm actually going to put in here, it says to put the longer four piece in, but I'm going to put the shorter four clip in here just because my hair is lower down. Then the next four clip. Okay, and then it says to put a three clip one in. Thank you. 
Now, I just actually went to check those because that's a lot higher than I would normally go. But because they are so thin, you really can't see them. Okay, so next up, we've got the two clips and the one clips left. And they're to do the front. So as you will be able to see now, round the back, I've got loads in. But you need to fill out the front now. So we're going to start with the face frames. I'm loving this. Okay, so face frames to go around the front so i normally angle these because i just feel like that fits a lot better so i will angle these in and do the same on the other side Always try and get them as equal as possible as well. I think that really helps. Wow, look at this guys, it's looking so good. Oh, I haven't been this excited with um, clipping hair extensions in a while. And you know what? I don't actually think I need any more. I have got the single ones, which I could put another couple in. Oh, my God. <sighs> I have to go back. Oh, my gosh. They blend so nice. Maybe I will put like one more single in. In fact, I don't know. I don't, I don't think I need it. I've got like three mirrors here, guys, because I'm just in awe. The colour is stunning. Okay, guys, they are all in. As you've just seen, I'm super duper impressed. Um, really, really impressed. I've just popped in two of the singles. So I've popped one there and one there two singles left over i've actually got all the pieces in my hair i didn't think i would get them in but because the tape because the clippings are actually so thin i've got them in and it doesn't feel heavy on my head they feel so comfortable i have always really worried about doing videos about other people's hair extensions because i am super super picky when it comes to my hair for years i've only used beauty works but i've said it now I've only used Beauty Works for years, um, but the quality of these looks so good so far. We're going to see how they, I'm, I will keep you updated on how I get on with them because with extensions, it is just how they last over time. I mean, when you first get some extensions, yeah, wow, banging. Um, but sometimes they do go scraggly, they don't hold up, they do molt, they don't just hold their shine. So I will see how I get on. But with clippings, what I will say, you haven't got to worry so much because it's not like tapes where you're washing them day in, day out, sleeping in them. Clippings, as long as they're thick to the ends and you've got the quality there to begin with, normally you are fine, you're good to go. Now, at this point, you can cut them if you want, but I tend to always curl my extensions anyway. So that is what I'm going to do now. I genuinely just use my straightness to curl my hair. Because they are natural human hair, you can curl them anyway with whatever you normally use on your hair but i tend to not put my straighteners too hot anyway they're only on 150 um but still even though it's not your hair you do want to use a heat you do want to use a heat protector so i actually use the uh revlon unique one um i find this is just really nice it smells really nice so i will just spray this through and i'm not going to bore you i'll speed this bit up and uh because it might take me a while with all this hair. So these are the seamless, ultra seamless clipping hair extension in Ash Blonde slash Platinum Blonde, which is 17A, 60A, and they are 18 inches. The clippings are 0.5 millimeter paper thin weft, so 50% thinner at the top than other clippings on the market. Like I said, they were definitely slimmer. Um, and they're perfect for thin and fine hair. I'm just going to check the back, two seconds. <laughs> 
Okay, I'm just going to turn around so you can put it all behind so you can see the back. Oh my god, guys, what do we think? I'll probably let these curls sit for a bit and then brush through them just to give them a little bit more of a natural wave. But, oh wait, let me keep the, I have to keep moving backwards so you can see. Yeah, just give them a brush through now. Now they've cooled down. Oh, I love them. I really love them. I'm really impressed. I haven't had my hair this long in such a long time and now I think I'm going to ask for the tapes in an 18 inch because these are phenomenal and I just, I love it. I really do love it so much. I'm really blown away. I'm really impressed. Um, so like I said at the start, I've got a code to get you discount off. Hold on. 20%. Juliet 20 for 20% off. Yeah, I am really impressed with these guys. Coming from someone who's really picky with extensions, I think these look beautiful. They blend really well. The quality feels really nice. I'm just really happy with them. So yeah, don't forget to use my code Juliet20. Please let me know down below as well if you want me to do one with the tapes when they come. And also, um, I will leave the actual link to these exact shade in case you want this shade but just a reminder it was the 17a slash 60a in the 18 inch clippings but yeah really really impressed so thank you so much to doris for sending me out the hair i do really really appreciate it and yeah i'm really really pleased so i hope you enjoyed this video and this little tutorial and the picked up a few tips along the way but thank you so much for watching if you did like this video don't forget to give it a thumbs up and i would love for you to subscribe and stick around and until next time guys take care bye